there. That's it. That's him. Uh, what's up, folks? I'm going to do another video today. I'm going to do a foreign video. I'm going to give it a spice it up. I'm going to add a little variety to it. I'm going to talk about one of my favorite foreign topics as of late to talk about. That's the Muslim Brotherhood. And this is going to be, they only love you when they need you. That's the Muslim Brotherhood. Now, support in Egypt for the Muslim Brotherhood is eroding, especially like after the high expectations, after the Arab Spring, or Arab Fall, whatever you want to call it. And when the Muslim Brotherhood promises this and promises that, and this, that, we're going to do this, we're going to restore you, the country, give you back your rights. Come to find out the Muslim Brotherhood all of a sudden, they were no better than the, the dictator we had that, that was in charge, who was our ally, by the way. So keep remembering that. But uh, at the economy, they have problems because the economy is, is in the toilet. You know, unemployment is rampant. Crime is rampant. There's no fucking security. It's unpopular detentions, which they had unpopular detentions with Mubarak. And uh, let me put this on a side note. Shout out to the people like that they're in Cairo and Alexandria because I had an invite to go there to those two places as far as like the talk and see how things were. And I thought it was bullshit at first until I was like, till I talked to the people and we conversed this out in the fifth. But I can't go there right now with the situation. And like, they understood it. I, I'm not going and look, I'm not a reporter. I'm not getting paid to do this shit. Like, if, if like, I'll, I could go there, but they putting Westerners, and no offense, let me, let me school a lot of you fucking ignorant, inner educated, uneducated people. No matter what I look like, at the end of the day, once I start talking, I'm an American. And that's what they said. And say, and that if I get detained, I know our, I know our government's track history of, you know, helping out detain Americans. So I wait till you guys get a little more stable. Whoever's in charge, now, if it's a Muslim Brotherhood, I'll still visit because I have no problem with the Muslim Brotherhood. I'm just saying they had, they just didn't meet their expectations. But I'm not going until that shit clears up. But uh, back to the topic at hand, because uh, I've been digressing. Many people would hope that the Muslim Brotherhood could turn around Egypt, which I think they can. If they, the problem with this is they're going off, they're going straight from the Quran. They're going straight out of it. They're being Islamic hardliners. I think they can turn it around. Worry about the economy in your country first, then worry about the religion part later. You know, but now other groups, and now you got other groups popping up, and now they're going, they're doing some damage because of Muslim Brotherhood. Morsi didn't do herself any favors when he started coming in heavy handed. And the bad part about it, you got with Bark on trial or whenever I put this video up, he might be guilty or innocent. But how are you going to have the, him on trial for the same shit that you're doing? You know, you feel that the, the Muslim Brotherhood has failed to exact any real political change, but yet I can feel for the Muslim Brotherhood because you're not giving the process a chance. The Muslim Brotherhood in the beginning had to be heavy handed. Now, the problem is the security that's at the fifth, well, that's there, that's on there, that's on the MB all day. They, they, they handle security. If the country's not secure, that's their fault. But as far as they can't, they can't change the country overnight. You should give them a chance. But the, as far as the mother and brother, the problem with them is they're going straight out of the Quran. Where at the end of the day, the people are like Quran or no Quran. I gotta eat. I need a job. I need a roof over my head. I gotta take care of these thirty million kids I got. You know. Well, you can always move in America. They go on welfare. Everybody else fucking does. Back to the top of the hand. In a way, they're continuing some of the same pro policies and processes that Mubarak did. But uh, what are they doing realistically? I see them trying to crack down only when it's convenient for them. You know, have the citizens allowed to go? Uh, you got you to ask two questions. What have they done realistically? And what have the citizens done to give them a chance to change? You know what I mean? Change just doesn't happen overnight. Unless you want to use freaks and get a surgery. But that's a different topic for a different video. But uh, are they dreaming for a quick fix? Like, I think the people, I think the folks thought the Muslim Brotherhood was just going to wipe it away and be a quick fix. But hell, you know what I mean? You can't get your oil changed like that. So you're going to think your your country going to get changed like that? So whoever in charge, if I was them, I would like they shouldn't have been heavy handed. Granted, but give them a chance to fix things. And then if they don't, vote them out of office and do what you have to do. So, but people need to pay attention because this could be our country next. So, I'm out. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.